welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. Thank you for watching at home. Well, guys, today is Cyber Monday. Yes. It is a day when millions of people shop online, so basically, Monday. Um, <laughs> everyone shops online. Seriously, I, I haven't been to a store since Avatar 1. I was thinking <laughs> Yep, Cyber Monday is a great way to get ahead of your holiday shopping. And then every gas station gift card rack is like, we'll see you on the 24th. All right. <laughs> yep, it's Cyber Monday, the busiest online shopping day of the year. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe I had to come to work today. <laughs> what, what's that, Terry? I observe Cyber Monday. It's, it's very important to me. I think I should get it off. Trick, we'd never have taken off for Cyber Monday. It's not, it's not a real holiday. No, no. It says it right here in my contract. <laughs> I get to take off for the holidays I observe. What, what are those? Cyber Monday. <laughs> Toyota Thon. <laughs> Happy Honda Days. Prime Day, both summer and fall. Shark Week. The Lexus December to Remember. Mm -hmm. 420. Chevy End of Summer Clearance Events. Walkabout Wednesdays at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> the last day in April, so I can post that meme of Justin Timberlake singing, It's gonna be May! <laughs> or July 4th, May the 4th. Actually, I'll just take off the 4th of every month to be safe. <laughs> Whenever a new Yellowstone spinoff comes out, President's Day, Vice President's Day, Speaker of the House Day, Free Cone Day at Dairy Queen, Free Cone Day at Ben and Jerry's, Free Cone Day at Hagen dazs David Cone Day at Yankee Stadium, <laughs> Uh, you, you, Cinco de Mayo, as well as Seis Siete and Ocho de Mayo. Most Thursdays, the Hallmark Channel's countdown to Christmas, the anniversary of that time Fabio was riding a roller coaster and he got hit in the face with a bird. And of course, my entire birthday month. Are you cool with that? Sure, take off all the days you want. Great. See you in 2024, buddy. All right, that's it. Got a lot of got a suitcase ready. <laughs> got a lot of stickers on his suitcase. He traveled, traveled the, the world. world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, guys, this is our first show back since Thanksgiving. Did everyone have a nice holiday? Yeah. I'm happy. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad you did. You ever invite people over for Thanksgiving and end up bringing their weird friends with them? <laughs> uh, well, apparently that's what Kanye did to former President Trump. Uh, did you guys see this? Trump had dinner at Mar-a-Lago with Kanye West and a well-known white supremacist. Seriously, you know these are crazy times when Trump is only the third most problematic person at the table. <laughs> Meanwhile, President Biden and his family spent Thanksgiving in Nantucket, where they reportedly talked about whether Biden should run for a second term. Yeah, it was just like your Thanksgiving. Everyone spent the whole time talking about whether or not to go back for seconds. <laughs> it was pretty intense conversation. Let's just say there were a lot of words that rhyme with Nantucket. <laughs> and I saw that while he was in Nantucket, Biden did some Black Friday shopping. You know, Biden had to get his shopping done on Black Friday because there was no way he was figuring out how to buy stuff on Cyber Monday. He's like, <laughs> what's my password again? What? Whippersnappers. Oh. oh, and everyone's talking about this. While Biden was on vacation, he took a selfie with some kids. Did you see this? Some kids were looking through a window. They saw him, and then he thought it'd be funny to take a selfie with them. But people are saying it's coming off a little creepy. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the kind of photo they analyze on Ghost Hunters. You know, is he real? Can we see that again, that photo? <laughs> looks like a poster for the second season of The Watcher. <laughs> Some entertainment news. This is exciting. I heard that next year, Americans will get to vote in the Eurovision Song Contest. Ooh. Although I'm already having trouble understanding the system. I check out this confirmation text I just got today. I said, thank you for voting in this year's European contest. You have selected Fluff and Rolf. If you no longer wish to receive this text, please reply Schluter. <laughs> now, so... After... We'll get this. A woman in Florida is suing Kraft Heinz because her microwavable Velveeta macaroni allegedly took longer to prepare than the label on the box said. <laughs> Elvita was like, Phew, I thought you were going to sue because the box said real cheese. <laughs> Guys, finally, before we go, I'd like to take a moment to thank some of our sponsors for tonight's show. They don't always fit in the commercial breaks, and we, we want to make sure that we mention all of them. So it's time for tonight's show sponsors. Here we go. Tonight's show sponsor. Tonight's show sponsor. 
that smart. Do you have a ponytail and wear cargo shorts? If so, the lizards are that way. <laughs> DraftKings, come on, your kids don't need to go to college. <laughs> Adobe, hey, hey, hey you, hey, hey, hi, hey you, hey. It's time for another update. Vizio TVs, are we a good brand? Who knows, but look, big. <laughs> Oreo thins, just like regular Oreos, but you're allowed to eat 30 of them. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles, look kids, it's based on your favorite cartoon from the 50s. <laughs> Sharpie, in your hand for a moment, on your hand forever. Pringles, come for the chips, stay because your arm is stuck in the tube. <laughs> and finally, Marshall is somehow flying under the radar while TJ Maxx takes all the heat. <laughs> you guys, this is very exciting. Tomorrow is the annual lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. <laughs> yes. The Christmas tree lighting is kind of like prom night. Uh, there's tons of buildup, and then it's over in one second. <laughs> I heard that the tree will be topped by a giant star that has three million crystals. I, uh, I love that uh, New York locks up the deodorant at CVS and then leaves three million crystals in the middle of the street. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I saw that the tree lighting ceremony could actually be affected by heavy rain and wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. You know, earlier when I said I was excited for the tree lighting, I didn't mean it, but now I am. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's where you want to be during a massive storm under an 80-foot tree with a 9-foot star and no root system. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, Mario Lopez is yelling, Timber! Yeah. Don't worry, if the weather gets really bad, NBC has a plan. They're just going to air last year's tree lighting because it looks the same. <laughs> The exact same. That's right, tomorrow is the Christmas tree lighting in Rockefeller Center, but tonight we thought we'd also do something special. We've never done this before. Tonight we present to you the first annual lighting of the beard. Roots. Can I get some holiday music? And let's bring down the lights for a second here. All right, let's count it down. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Happy holidays. Thank you very much. The Lighting of the Beard is brought to you by Terry Steaks. Terry Steaks makes you say, mmm, that kind of tastes like beef. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Guys, uh, here's, some, here's some good news. Today is Giving Tuesday. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It's a day of generosity when millions of people give to their favorite charities or struggling organizations, which explains why Twitter was trending all day. <laughs> well, people were talking about this. Uh, last year, uh, several Oscar categories were cut from the live telecast, and everyone was, was outraged. So the Academy just announced that this year, all 23 Oscar categories will be presented live. Yeah. That's right. That's that should be fun, uh, all, all the length of a Marvel movie with none of the excitement. Uh, it's... <laughs> hey, some big sports news today. The U.S. beat Iran 1-0 to advance to the next round of the World Cup. Yes! USA! I just hope this doesn't ruin our incredible friendship with Iran. Yep, we're on to the next round. Americans haven't been this fired up about soccer since we remembered it existed last week. <laughs> when asked how they beat Iran, the U.S. coach said, we found their secret game plan in a box at Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> That's right. The second week of the World Cup started today. The games have been so fun to watch that we've actually started playing a little soccer around the office. Uh, Tariq, you ready for this? Yeah, man. Pass it to me. All right, here we go, bud. Does anyone know the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs> He's still chosen.
joking! Oh, nice! Dance robot activated. Two! Well, get this, a temple in Thailand dismissed all their monks because they just tested positive for meth. <laughs> Which explains the new hit show in Thailand, Breaking Buddhist. <laughs> Tonight was the 90th annual Christmas tree lighting here at Rockefeller Center. Yeah. 90. The crowd, the crowd spent hours waiting in the freezing cold, the pouring rain, and 40 mile per hour winds. But at the end of the day, at least they had a beautiful view of the umbrella in front of them. <laughs> I thought that was. If you couldn't see the lighting in person, good news the tree will be lit daily from 6 a.m. to midnight, just like everyone who invested in crypto. <laughs> so that's right. So the tree is wrapped in 50,000 lights and crowned with a star that has 3 million crystals. Wow. Meanwhile, all the other trees in the city are like, <clears throat> desperate. <laughs> <clears throat> Sad. <laughs> yep, during tonight's tree lighting ceremony, 50,000 lights were turned on at once. So on behalf of everyone here at 30 Rock, I just want to say sorry to the guy who lives next door at 32 Rock. <laughs> uh, let's see what happened when they lit the tree. Is that, do we have a video of that guy? Time to dust off my collection of priceless vintage glassware, which I hope nothing ever happens to. Ah, my eyes! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I thank you for this rocket. I hope he's all right. I hope he's okay. Oh my God! I hope he's all right. Lucky you had a camera. Thank goodness we had the video cameras there to catch his reaction. Both his elbows went up. Yeah, I know. But he knocked both shelves there. He didn't know what to do. Such a blinding light. Yeah, I know. Man. Yeah. Well. Uh, meanwhile, though, tonight in Washington D.C., people were celebrating the 100th National Christmas Tree Lighting with President Biden. That's right. We had a tree, <laughs> a tree lighting in New York, and a tree lighting in D.C. And then one guy in Philadelphia microwaved a cheesesteak, and the whole East Coast went dark. It's like, wait, wait. <laughs> Uh, I read that the tree in D.C. is about 55 feet shorter than the one here in New York City. <laughs> the national tree heard and said, hey, it's colder here. <laughs> uh, well, everyone's still talking about this. The U.S. men's soccer team, big win over Iran in the world. <laughs> That's exciting. Uh -huh. Uh, I, I don't know if anyone was more excited than Biden, because uh, this is real. When he found out the result, he ran back on stage after making his speech to make the announcement, but his mic wasn't on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. Watch this, watch this. Biden didn't care. He was finally living his boyhood dream, silent film star. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Some big news. You can understand the news? Hey, here's some big news here. The Senate just passed legislation to mandate federal recognition for same-sex marriages. <laughs> Man, if you thought Iran hated America after the World Cup, oh, boy. <laughs> yep, it's a big deal. Right after it passed, Biden awkwardly ran back on stage to announce, like... <laughs> Switching gears today, Prince William and Kate Middleton arrived in Boston for the first trip to the U.S. in nearly 10 years. Oh. And this was nice. This was nice. They met with Boston royalty, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Uh, <laughs> I think Boston is rubbing off on Prince William. Just listen to this video from earlier today. Bro, did you see the Yanks tank it this year? I think Judge is coming over to the Sox. Yeah, it's interesting. Wow. Wow. It's a Duncan. Well, everyone is talking about this today. Spotify released their annual Spotify Wrapped. 
You, you all did it? Yeah. Spotify Wrapped is great. It reminds me that I've pretty much been listening to the same five artists for the last five years. <laughs> Uh, did you guys see this? Following a massive spike in sales, The Phantom of the Opera has extended its final Broadway run by eight weeks. <laughs> the Phantom was like, I was this close to not having to wear a mask. This got me almost. <laughs> yeah, they announced they were closing, then got record sales. Now Sears is like, we are also closing. <laughs> Well, this is fun. I saw that next month, uh, the world's largest go-kart track is opening in New Jersey. Whoa. What took so long? It's already the tracksuit capital of the world. I mean, come on. <laughs> it makes sense, though. New Jersey is the one place you're actually going to find a man named Mario in a go-kart. So... <laughs> come on. That's... It's me! Mario! And finally, guys, it's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's time for some Monday Motivations. Secretly, the Kardashians are just trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Every time you have an appointment, your dentist calls his friends like, you'll never guess where my hand is right now. Yes, Jeffrey's mouth. <laughs> when people see you in a club, they're like, whoa, how did I get into the VIP section? You wore a winter coat last week, and now everyone's wearing a winter coat. That can't be a coincidence. Congratulations, trendsetter. <laughs> Every time people see you, they're like, mistletoe? <laughs> when you go down the line and say what you want at Chipotle, the workers are like, right answer, right answer. <laughs> And finally, you're the you Mariah keeps saying that she wants for Christmas. That's why they play it every time you go into the CVS. All she wants is you! Today is December 1st, which means it's time to play that classic December game, Can You Finish Your Lunch Before the Sun Goes Down? Yeah, that's right. That's right, it's December 1st. The holiday season is here. I hate to be old-fashioned, but does anyone else think Christmas has taken all the meaning away from the Lexus December to remember? <laughs> you can tell it's the holiday season in New York City. This morning, I told my Uber driver, Rockefeller Center, and he just abandoned his car and never came back. <laughs> yep, now that the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is up, there are tourists everywhere, and now that weed is legal in New York, I kind of understand staring at it for an hour. I go... <laughs> Well, it seems like there's so much going on right now. Last night was the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree got lit. The World Cup. The World Cup is in full swing. There's a new trailer for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Ooh. That was good. And Subway just announced that they're going to sell a foot-long cookie. Uh, there's a lot to go over. So let's just jump in and cover it all at once. It's time for a new smash. First up... The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree last night was the big lighting. Thousands of people waited around for hours just for one second of excitement. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like watching the World Cup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Games are long. Uh, sometimes there's a tie, and the fans in Qatar aren't even allowed to drink. But it hasn't stopped them from enjoying the matches, which are full of running, jumping, and kicking, kind of like Super Mario. <laughs> the new trailer for the movie just came out. Yeah, it's a whole movie about a plumber which is exactly who you'll be calling if you eat a foot-long cookie <laughs> from Subway. That's right, a giant 12-inch long cookie. They're selling them for National Cookie Day, or as stoners call it, Christmas. The tree <laughs> is so beautiful when it's lit, uh, but you know who isn't lit right now? Fans at the World Cup. There's, there's no booze. Uh, but they still went wild when Team USA's best players scored while getting kneed in the groin. Yeah, he took one right in his... Cookies. Seriously, if, this, <laughs> if you eat this whole thing, you won't be hitting your weight loss. Go! <laughs> there are 16 countries left, but there can only be one winner. Right now, every country is hoping it's a me. So, in conclusion, what a star. 
in Qatar, Super Mar, you took it too far. This has been a new smash. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, well, here's some big news today. President Biden hosted French President Emmanuel Macron for the first White House state dinner in more than three years. Yep, the French like to eat late, so Biden was like, got it, 4.30 it is. <laughs> Can we see Biden and Macron together? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they look like a father and son law firm. <laughs> uh, tonight, Biden was, uh, was the very first White House state dinner with Emmanuel Macron. Now, state dinners are always very fancy with lots of dishes and courses. So just out of curiosity, let's see if I can read the entire menu in less time than it took Macron to break away from a handshake with Donald Trump. Here we go. Uh, let's try it. And, uh... Let's run the handshake. Here we go. Uh, butter poached Maine lobster, American caviar, squash raviolo with tarragon sauce, beef with shallot marmalade. That sounds good. Triple cooked butter potatoes, sun choke cream watercress, red wine reduction, three artisanal cheeses, orange chiffon cake, and roasted pears and ice cream. There you go. That's a good menu. We did it. Ring around the rosy pocket. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, last night, the Bidens and the Macrons went out to dinner at an Italian restaurant. Ooh. Here's a photo of the two couples at dinner. There they are, yep. The Bidens and Macrons went on a double date. Then Kamala and Doug showed up at the restaurant and pretended it was an accident. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> you eat it the same? I guess we just eat together, right? <laughs> Switching gears, well, guys, Prince William and Princess Kate are on a trip in Boston. And last night, they went to a Boston Celtics game. And there's a, there's a photo going around that really made me laugh. Can we see this photo? <laughs> <laughs> the photo already inspired that new meme, find someone who looks at you the way Prince William looks at a basketball. <laughs> uh, did you guys hear about this? Uh, there's a new study uh, from scientists in California that found that eating uh, foods with high... Uh, sh Jimmy! Oh, wait, wait, keep... Jimmy, I What? I said yeah. I thought we were friends. No, we are friends. Of course we're friends. Well, well, then why didn't you say that I'm hosting SNL this week with musical guest SZA? What? <laughs> you, just, you just did. Yeah, but you didn't. Oh, sure. Kiki Palmer is hosting SNL this week with musical guest SZA! <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah, we are best friends. Bye, That's Kiki Palmer right there. This is it. I'm going to bring a leg. Uh, guys, uh, oh, she's going to crush it. Uh, guys, listen to this. According to new research, self-service checkouts at grocery stores are covered in harmful bacteria. But hey, at least they also never work. <laughs> Uh, I love that two years ago we were wiping uh, down every surface and now we're like, eh, my immune system needs the challenge. <laughs> uh, also, I read that researchers in Europe developed a robot that braces itself against walls to avoid falling. <laughs> Robots also programmed to say, I don't have a problem, you have a problem. <laughs> Too bad they don't have that for humans. What? <laughs> <laughs> we got to see it again. Can we see oh, that one more time? It's just too funny. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> well, this is cool. I saw that the new Adams Family series Wednesday just passed Stranger Things for most hours viewed in a week on Netflix. <laughs> uh, Tariq, you, are you watching Wednesday? Watching what Wednesday? Wednesday. The, yeah. What are you watching Wednesday? No, it's called Wednesday. You can watch whenever. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, are those other shows? <laughs> no, just, just Wednesday. I'm a Wednesday watcher. Oh, I love The Watcher. I watched it Wednesday. <laughs> you watch The Watcher on Wednesday, but not Wednesday? No, no, no. You can watch The Watcher whenever you want. Even Wednesday. Just watch The Watcher, not Wednesday. So you watched The Watcher, not Wednesday, on Wednesday, while I was watching Wednesday on Wednesday and not The Watcher? 
Dude, that's the first thing you've said to me any since tonight. Ah, oh, Tariq Trout, everyone. Thank you very much. That's... Well, last night was the Rockefeller Center tree lighting here in New York, but it was also the national tree lighting in D.C. That's right, two Christmas tree lightings. Yeah. The national tree lighting will be broadcast by CBS in two weeks. And I feel that they're a little competitive, because here's the promo they just released. Season's greetings, America. Are you tired of lame Christmas tree lightings at Rockefeller Center? Well, f that Because the national Christmas tree lighting is where it's at. We got everything. Colorful light. This star. DJ named Splashy Dan. Rock Center's got a cute little squirrel. Loser. But we got cocaine bear. Yeah, cocaine squirrel. And you think DJ Tan's not on cocaine? He's on three drugs you haven't even heard of. I hope you like ornaments. Cause this Christmas tree's got balls to the wall. So this holiday season, suck it, Rockefeller Center. Go watch a real Christmas tree get lit. The National Tree Lighting. It's Christmas, bitch. Ho, ho. Wow. That is competitive. It's Christmas, bitch. <laughs> I have no wow. idea. What are they doing what over are they there doing at CBS? CBS? Oh, my God. <laughs> Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. <laughs> you guys, it is the officially, it's a, it's a holiday season right now. We're in the thick of it. Yeah, this is the time of year we're all deciding uh, who's gift worthy and who's gift card worthy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but aren't the holidays in New York a special time? I, it, it, <laughs> this morning on the subway, I saw a guy wearing a Santa hat and nothing else. Oh, and I just thought it was just uh, that time of year. Speaking of the city, for the first time ever, New York City has been named the most expensive city in the world. Really? You like that, sir? <laughs> Things are so expensive, NBC can only afford to plug in the bottom half of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. That's the only place. Things are so expensive, the Statue of Liberty just started in OnlyFans. <laughs> Things are so expensive, pickpockets are running credit checks to see if you're worth the effort. <laughs> but everyone's excited about this. Tomorrow, the U.S. plays the Netherlands in the knockout round of the World <laughs> Cup. That's right, tomorrow is the highly anticipated World Cup match between the United States and the Netherlands. It's gonna be a tough challenge, but I know we can do this, especially if every person in the studio cheers their hardest. Say it with me, USA, 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 USA. Wait, sorry, stop, 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 sorry. I think I see someone who's not cheering oh, over there. Oh, no, yes, yeah, you, uh, what, what, is, what is your name? Uh, Gertrude, yeah. Welcome to the show, Gertrude, yeah? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but where are you from? Uh, I am from Tampa, in your American state of Florida. No, no, no where are you actually from, G Gertrude, yeah? Uh, I am visiting from Eindhoven in the Netherlands. That's what I thought. Now, I, I normally wouldn't do this, but uh, get out of here. Oh, no! Get oh, out of here, security! No! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, get in the Oh, For the love of just help her out. And get, thank you very much. Gertrudia. So sorry, y'all, to see that. Gosh. Oh, my God. Well, this is interesting. I saw that UNESCO has awarded special protected status to the French baguette. And get this, French President Emmanuel Macron is in the country for the state dinner, and he actually asked if he could stop by here and sing a song about the good news. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome French President Emmanuel Macron. Bonjour. How do you do? I brought you a baguette pour vous. They are so hard to chew, but they're good with fondue. <laughs> Can I share one with you as we stroll down the rue with my chest hair in view? I use special shampoo. <laughs> Sans un bleu. <laughs> we could go to the zoo if you want to a kangaroo. Then use your Roku to watch White Lotus season two. Yeah. 
I got my Spotify review. My top band was U2. <laughs> top song was Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> oh, before I forget, we must save the baguette. They're the hottest thing from France since Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> But my flight leaves so soon. I'm in boarding zone due. I'm flying jet blue with a layover in Honolulu. <laughs> but for now, I bid you adieu, adieu, adieu. French President Emmanuel Macron, he ran away. He's in the hallway now. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's the French president with <laughs> the Netherlands fan and the French president. Some movie news today. Uh, Top Gun Maverick returned to theaters for a two-week run. Ooh. It's like Netflix saying you recently watched Top Gun Maverick. We thought you might be interested in Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Some business news. Pepsi just launched a holiday campaign encouraging people to eat their cookies with pilk, which is Pepsi mixed with milk. Here's the ad for they released for it. Look at this. Ooh, naughty. Pepsi and milk. Pilk. <laughs> then in response, another company released this ad. Ooh, naughty. Pepsi and milk. Pilk. Coke. We would never do this. <laughs> Well, I heard that in an effort to compete with Dollar General, Family Dollar is lowering their prices. <laughs> their prices are so low that they're now changing the name to Family Crypto. <laughs> Finally, tomorrow is the 30th anniversary of the first text message. And it just said, Merry Christmas. And like, yeah, that's real. And the second text message, we had a hold of the second text message that was sent six years later. It says, sorry, just seeing this now. We should totally catch up soon. Hey.